crazy. What's up everybody? It's Georgina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to film another get ready with me because these are my favorite types of videos to film because I can do my makeup while talking to you guys. <laughs> For some reason, I am feeling very inspired today, very creative, so I thought why not film a get ready with me and do a cute ass makeup look, why not? Let's turn these lights on behind me. What color should we do? I'm feeling pink. I'm feeling... There we go. Right before we get into the makeup tutorial, I just want to say a quick thank you to today's video sponsor, which is Hi Bella and their Glam Mirror. And I'm so excited to introduce you guys to this mirror because it is literally amazing. This is a smart sensor makeup mirror. It is rechargeable, it's cordless, it lights up. Let me just turn it on really quickly right there there we go you can also control it with an app so you can adjust the brightness you can change the lighting settings for example you can choose cold lighting you can choose warm lighting you can choose natural sunlight obviously i will be using this mirror to do my makeup today the design is so sleek it looks so amazing you guys so like i said it lights up right here is the on and off button so if you want to turn it off just hold it for two seconds and it turns right off when you turn it over to the side i don't know if you guys can see this but right here is a little black bar and if you swipe your finger over it you can actually adjust the brightness which is so cool so right now the brightness is pretty low but when i go up with my finger it turns up it actually has another cool feature i don't know if you guys can see this sensor right here but basically when you are in front of the mirror this sensor notices you so the makeup mirror automatically turns on and when you leave it so like it doesn't recognize your face it turns off after a while which is just amazing because just imagine like if you forget to turn it off you don't have to worry about the battery dying or whatever because it just turns off when it notices that you're not in front of your mirror anymore now let me show you guys the app it says connecting now because you connect it to bluetooth in this app you can turn down the brightness or put the brightness all the way up whatever you prefer let's put it on 60 you can also change the lighting mode so if you click right here it brings you to like the menu you can pick cold light do you guys see that changing this is natural sunlight. This is warm light. Do you guys see it getting warmer? It is so cool. You can even put restaurant or work, office, I mean. You can also customize your lighting. Another thing that is definitely worth mentioning, if you guys wanna take this mirror with you, you actually can, and it's super easy. This and this actually like magnetic, so if you wanna take it with you, you can just detach it like that and it comes with an amazing travel case so if you're going somewhere to your boyfriend's house on holiday to your friend's house even to work you can literally take this mirror with you anywhere so as you can see i just put the mirror in right in here goes the little stand it actually also has like two more compartments for the charger which you can store right in here now you can take it with you everywhere baby the mirror is also magnetic so this is kind of like you guys seeing what I'm seeing. It's very high definition. Hello! <laughs> the first thousand orders actually come with this amazing travel case that I just showed you so you can take your mirror everywhere with you. All right, now let's get started with the makeup. That was very scary. I'm never gonna do that again. <laughs> I'm actually already wearing um, a CC cream on my face today. I had to film a TikTok for Makeup Revolution with their new CC skin tint and this is actually amazing. It's buildable coverage and it makes my skin look amazing. So that's what I'm already wearing on my skin. This right here from Makeup Revolution. It's Let's dive right into concealer, shall we? I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Warm Beige. This is actually one of my favorite concealers because it is very high coverage. I love 
this shade matches my skin tone perfectly. I'm gonna use my beauty sponge from Real Techniques to blend this in. You guys, I'm so excited to do my makeup today because literally I have not really been feeling that creative with my makeup. I don't know if you guys have seen my last um, video that I uploaded on YouTube, which kind of explained why I was gone for a couple of weeks and I wasn't really filming makeup videos. But today I'm feeling very creative for some reason. So I love that for me. Ugh, I hate it when I get those white lines on my lips from my lip balm. It does not look cute. Let's do some liquid blush. I am in the middle of doing my makeup and I'm gonna put the light a little bit lower because it's too bright for me at the moment since it's the morning. So we're gonna put it down a little bit like this, I think. This is Iconic London Sheer Blush in the color Fearless Flush. I have actually used this before. Um, oh, that is a little bit too much. I was gonna say at first it looks kind of like scary and very pigmented, but this is actually a sheer blush, like it says on the packaging. So when you blend it out, it actually doesn't look that scary anymore. You guys know what I mean? Look at that. It just blends out to a perfect little flush of color on your cheeks. I love looking like, oh, that is again a little bit too much, <laughs> but I love looking like a clown. So I think I'm getting a package. Is that the mailman? Let me check. Oh, false alarm. <laughs> I am just gonna set my face with this setting powder from Laura Mercier. I'm just gonna put some into the cap right here. I'm gonna take a new beauty sponge from Makeup Revolution and I'm just gonna set that concealer down so it doesn't go anywhere and it doesn't move. Also gonna set my T-zone so around my nose. You guys know the drill, my forehead. You know what I've noticed is that I am a pig when it comes to doing my makeup because I'm literally, I've not even been doing my makeup for 10 minutes and my desk is like, Wah. I'm gonna do some bronzer. I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills Saddle Powder Bronzer. It looks like this. This is the color. Like I said, I'm pretty like bronzed already and I feel like my face is lighter. Uh, my chest is lighter than my face. I'm just gonna put some bronzer down here as well like on my chest area and also a little bit onto my cheeks for highlighter i'm gonna use this product from makeup revolution this is the reloaded highlighter and i don't think that i've ever used this before so i'm really excited to see how it works it looks very pretty like a little bit gold Let's put this on my nose and this stuff is pigmented. Oops. Ooh, that looks very nice. It's like a really fine highlighter, which I love. For my eyeshadow today, I'm gonna use these two cute little eyeshadow palettes that I got from ColourPop. I actually used um I actually used a similar one in my recent YouTube video which was this one but I have two more that I'm dying to try out because these look amazing and when I last tried them they were super pigmented which I love so I'm going to use a mix of these two today. Oh wait, I also have this palette right here. This is the Millennial Pink palette from Melt Cosmetics. This one's also really pretty. I feel like doing something mauve today, kind of like this top I am first going to go into this Millennial Pink palette from Melt Cosmetics and I'm going to use the color Flamingo Dream, which is this pinky one. And I'm going to use this kind of as our transition first base color and blend it up pretty high. So this kind of acts like the color that's going to, you know, like blend everything together, if that makes sense. Just like the base for like the rest of the eyeshadow. Just taking this all up our eyelid, up into the crease, kind of blending that out right here by the brow. Also, every single shadow that I'm gonna use on like my upper lid, I'm also gonna blend um, onto my onto my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go into that little ColourPop palette. The palette is called Creamsicle. 
What a cute name. And I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to use that in my crease to deepen up the color a little bit. Just to bring some more pigmentation to it. Just put that on top of the other color that we just applied. Give it some more depth. I'm kind of tapping this in because it is like a pressed eyeshadow. So now it is obviously looking very pink. So we are going to bring some mauve purpley colors into this and also some brown so i'm gonna go back into the i'm gonna go back into the millennial pink palette and i'm gonna pick up this color which is called modern love it looks stunning this color right here wait yeah this one so this color is gonna deepen up the look even more and i'm mainly gonna focus this color on the outer part of my lid and kind of like into the crease like on the outer La 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 <laughs> Outer part of the crease. So into the outer part of the crease, just blend it in there and then take some more and then lightly swish that over the lid as well. Now we're gonna take the other ColourPop palette. So we just used this one, which is kind of like more pinky. Now we're gonna use this one, which is just browns and neutrals. And I'm gonna go into this dark chocolatey brown color right here. And I'm actually gonna take a smaller brush like this. This one's from ColourPop. And I'm really gonna focus this into the crease. And this color will kind of change it from that like bright pink to like a little bit more toned down mauve color that we're going for it's not exactly the same as my top like this is definitely more purple i feel like this isn't even mauve like this is purple this high bella mirror is literally amazing when you are doing your makeup especially eyeshadow because you can really get in there and especially because the makeup mirror is magnified it's even better I'm just gonna pick up this color from the Millennial Pink palette. This is called Mixed Emotions. It's a really pretty purpley shimmery color. Ooh, do you guys see how pretty that looks? Let's do this side. Is it a Georgina Joanita makeup tutorial if it's not a cat eye? absolutely not i need to do my cat eye if it's not a cat eye i just do not want it so of course i'm gonna go in with a dark brown shadow i'm just using that little color pop palette again and i'm gonna take an angled brush like this i'm pretty sure it's an eyeliner brush yes this one is from MOTD cosmetics if that's correct i'm just gonna dip into the dark brown shade and i'm gonna use this as my eyeliner so i'm so I'm first gonna do a little wing on the outer corner like this. I have to be very careful with this shadow because it's very pigmented. So I don't wanna make any mistakes. Oops, and I just did. Wow. And of course we have to do my signature cat eye. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more of this and go into my inner corners. Obviously, I have to apply a little bit on my lower lash line as well. And is it also a Georgina Joanita makeup tutorial if I'm not wearing my own lashes for my brand GGB Beauty? Of course not. You know, that is the most amazing thing about having your own beauty brand. I can literally design products exactly like I want them to be. Why would I ever use any other lashes than the lashes that I designed to be perfect? No reason. I'm going to use my GGB Beauty lashes in the style Memory. These are perfect. They will give you an amazing cat eye. They're very lightweight and kind of like feathery and super fluffy. It will look amazing. Just wait and see. Like I said, this one's in the style Memory. Get yours now at ggbbeauty.com 100% vegan and cruelty free here's how it looks with the lashes on and it looks 20 times better trust me fake eyelashes really complete your makeup look like it just brings it all together i just also finished up my um eye makeup with a little bit of bottom lash mascara this one's from ColourPop. it's called act natural defining mascara in black and i really like this now for the lips. 
Now for the lips, the lip combo that I'm gonna go with today is this Peaches and Cream Lip Liner in the shade Proline. So I'm just gonna overline my lips with this lip liner. And then for lip gloss, I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss in the color Blushed Gold. It looks like this. I think it's gonna go really well with the eyeshadow. It's kind of like a pinky nude with shimmers in it. Ooh, I really like that. <gasps> love you guys this is literally how high quality i see myself in the high bella glam mirror look at this it's literally perfect i am obsessed okay you guys i just finished taking pictures and everything i'll insert some right here i am obsessed with how this makeup look turned out i'm loving the mauvey pink purple kind of moment. I also again want to say a huge thank you to Hybella and their glam mirror that I did my makeup in today. You need to get you one of these because this is literally the best makeup mirror that I've ever used. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video and don't forget to follow me on Instagram which is at Georgina Juanita and also my beauty brand which is at GGB Beauty. I'm wearing GGB Beauty memory lashes today. I will see you guys back in my next video. Bye! Mwah.